the reason STEM is so important is because it helps us to create change and to discover new things. My name is Sarah. I'm in 12th grade at Duchenne Academy in Houston, Texas. Honestly, since I can remember, I've been really interested in science. When I was a kid, I loved space, dinosaurs, volcanoes, all of that cool stuff. As I grew up, the questions that I was asking kind of were strengthened by what I was learning in class, and I just wanted to learn more. Hi, my name is Abby Sophia. I'm Sarah. I'm Julia, and today we're here to talk to you about our experiment with cases that went to the International Space Station. The National Design Challenge is a challenge put out to students across the U.S. to design an experiment to test a research question on the International Space Station. Our research question was asking how pea shoots were going to grow in microgravity using different wavelengths of light. We used red and blue light in order to see which one would be most effective in allowing the pea shoots to grow. It had been a full year of preparation, planning, and implementation. Everyone was really excited to see it go up into space. Unfortunately, after we sent it off, the experiment exploded because the rocket that it was in exploded, which was a bit of a setback, but it meant that ultimately we got a chance to fix some of the things that could have gone wrong the first time. We had another setback. The experiment's rocket exploded for a second time. That was a little bit saddening after all the work we had put in. The third launch was successful. It was really cool to see that even as a middle schooler, I was able to help with something that was going to really make an impact. We had to fit everything we needed for this cool experiment with lights and plants and a camera all into that tiny box. So that was a big challenge that we faced. I was also able to kind of share the experience with some younger students at my own school. And that was a really cool experience to kind of impart the knowledge that we had learned and to help inspire those girls to pursue their interest in science. We're going to start talking about the new resolution for the month. I've been doing debate for the past five years. I've learned a lot about the world through the different topics that we have. Debate has shown me to be more confident in my own voice. So this is my locker. Here's a picture of rocket launch and here's a picture of my robotics team. I've been on my high school robotics team, Iron Plaid, for the past four years. We are one of the only all-girl teams in Texas and even in the United States, which is something that I'm really proud of. I have made this community of really strong, interesting, smart, creative people, and they're all women. Women are awesome at science and technology and all of that stuff, and they're really cool and creative and smart. Oh. <laughs> so cool. I live with my mom and my dad. I don't have any siblings, but I do have a dog. His name is Woofy. My parents have always been really supportive of me. It's been really great to have people in my life that will allow me to explore different interests and new things and to really support those things. Looking at my future, I feel really excited and also nervous. I'm entering a new stage of my life. I really hope that I can become a doctor because I think it really brings together my interest in helping people with my love for STEM. Skill isn't necessarily the most important thing in the world. You don't have to be the most talented mathematician to discover some new math thing or the most talented scientist to discover a really crazy new advancement. You just have to be dedicated and you have to be passionate. And I think those are the things that really matter.